What's up guys? So today I'm really excited because I get to do an exosome scalp hair treatment for my patient who's been suffering from androgenic alopecia. He's had three treatments already. We usually do one treatment every month for three total treatments, which he's had the third one and he noticed such a significant improvement in his hair loss, especially in the middle area, that he actually scheduled a fourth one today. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what exosomes are, what they do, and what to expect. And so exosome is just a fancy word for a vesicle that stem cells are normally used to communicate with each other to tell each other what to do and what to kind of differentiate into. And so in this instance, when we're injecting these exosomes or these vesicles with all these growth factors in them into the scalp area, the idea is that they're going to then tell the dormant hair follicles what to do and essentially to wake back up and start producing hair again. This is something that happens over the course of several months. And so it's something that you wanna have a scaffold for where those exosomes and those complexes stay in the area that you're injecting, in this case, the scalp, right? And so it has a really thick characteristic to it, which the thickness comes from the hyaluronic acid. And the hyaluronic acid itself is gonna help keep that exosome complex in the scalp and prevent it from migrating, heading to areas where it's not gonna help. And so this complex also includes a bunch of peptides. And so one of the peptides it includes is one of my favorite peptides, a copper peptide known as GHKCU. So GHKCU is extremely studied in its anti-aging properties, its collagen boosting properties. And in this case, it's something that we actually can use to help promote hair growth. But this exosome plus complex actually has that copper tripeptide in it, along with multiple other polypeptides and amino acids to add to the already significant amount of growth factors that are coming from the exosome complex. And this all also serves as a very anti-inflammatory complex and so another common cause of hair loss is inflammation. And so you're treating basically the hair loss in a couple different ways. One is very strong anti-inflammation and one is by giving it a bunch of growth factors and polypeptides to give it a matrix on which you can grow.